sleep. And Miss Emily, you want to say a quiet hello? So excited to see you again. Well, we have our second radio show today with Principal Dinah and Wally the detective. And we had more friends email us about problems that they were having. And guess what? You guys also responded to our question for you, which was, which solutions would you have chosen for the problems that we had last week? Remember when Parker had the problem about not seeing his friends and missing mm -hmm. his friends? Mm -hmm. And Wally and Dinah came up with some really good solutions. One of them was to play some games over the internet on Zoom or FaceTime or whatever you have. And um, ooh, a lot of people liked that response. A lot of people liked that solution. Yes. And so that one got a lot of votes. And then another one was to plan a picnic or plan something for the future that you wanted to do, like ride bikes with your friends. And some people wanted to do that, but you know what got the most votes was to do both of those things. Yeah. And you know what? I was wondering if some of my friends have never played a game online with their friends, maybe they would like to see it done. So Ooh. we're going to wake up our friends, Wally and Dinah, and we are going to invite them to a game of Uno for you guys so that you can see how it's done. All right. So get out your fingers and let's all count to three. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Friends, friends wake, wake up. up. Friends, friends wake, wake up. up. Friends, friends wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Wake up. Friends wake up. Friends wake up. Friends wake up. It's time, time for school. school. Hello, Wally. Hello, Miss Emily. Oh, hi, Principal Dinah. Oh, oh hi, Principal Dinah. How are, how are you doing? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you okay. Can you hear me okay? I can. You know, the radio program said I didn't have to wear those ear, uh, the earpiece anymore, and you don't either, I guess, the headphones. So now we're just on the radio. I just wanted to make sure you could hear me. Yeah, I know, I know, sometimes, sometimes it was a little hard, like we had a hard time hearing my friend Parker last time, but I can hear you, I can hear you perfectly fine now. Oh, okay, I'm so wait. excited. Yeah, and you know what, when I was in my bag down there, uh, uh, I heard Miss Ashley say something about games. Did you hear that from your bag too? Oh, I sure did, and you know what, I brought my... Uno card! Oh, no way! Me too! Oh, my goodness! Look, I brought Uno as well. Would you like to start playing with me and we'll see how it goes? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Okay, so first, we got to deal seven cards. So you get seven from your deck. Did you shuffle? I got it right here. Okay. Did you shuffle? Uh, yes, I already shuffled. So let me okay. let me let me get myself seven cards, right? Seven? Okay. Yeah. One, One two, two, three, four. Three. Five, six, seven. Got it. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Ready. So you turn over a, a card from your deck and we'll play off of that. So you you turn over a deck a card first. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's blue six. Okay. Okay. And you know what, Principal Diamond, you can go first because you're 200 million years old. <laughs> that was really cute, Wally. You know what? My birthday is tomorrow, so I really appreciate that. I'm going to be two million and one day old. <laughs> That'll be pretty exciting. Okay, so you go first. Put you can so so put the card, put the blue six down, and then show me what you're going to play on top of the blue six. Well, isn't it your turn? Oh, oh shoot! I thought it was yours. Okay, okay. Let me look at my cards. Um, let's see. Blue six. I can play. A oh, oh oh I got a couple choices. Okay, I am gonna play a green six because oh, green's my favorite oh, color. You, you turn the color on me. That's okay because I've got green here. I think. Oh yeah, look what I got. Draw two. Oh well, man. Uh, okay. okay, I'll draw two. Now it's my turn, right? Because you drawing two was your turn. Okay, it's yeah. my turn again. So I'm gonna do green four. Okay, green four. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, I got a green eight. Oh, cool. Okay. I don't have an eight or a green, so I have to draw, right? Yeah, you gotta draw one card. 
Okay. Uh, oh, man, that wasn't a green or an eight. So it's oh. your turn. Okay, good. Because you know what? Skip you! Oh, man! You're good at this, Wally. You're really good at this game. Oh, your thanks. Turn again. Okay, and then I have a green six. I got a lot of green cards. Okay. Um, well, I've got a six, Wally, but it's yellow. Okay. See, it's yellow like my belly. Ah! Okay, okay. I don't have a yellow, but you know what I do have? Uh oh. No! Oh, no! Yeah. And, and and the color is the color is red. No, I mean, okay. Well, you're really good at this, Wally. Yeah, I'm happy for you to be doing so well. Let me see four. Okay, hold on one second. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, that was my turn, so oh, yeah. so it's your turn now, because I okay. took my turn by just drawing. Okay. Okay, red, six. Oh, cool. You really have a lot of sixes. You weren't lying. Okay, uh, I've got a red, too. Oh, okay, okay, let me look. What'd you play again? A red, two? A red two. Okay, red nine. Uh, okay, uh, I got a red seven. Ooh, okay, um, I have a, you know what's funny? I have a red seven two and Uno! Oh man, you're really on a Uno already, Wally? Yeah, I got wow. one card left. I, have, I only had to draw that time you made me draw two. Oh man, so um, I have to draw it because I don't have a red or a seven, just a second. Okay, this one was a seven, and it's yellow. Oh, guess what? No! No way! Oh, Wally, you won! Winner, <laughs> winner, chicken dinner! That's me, I won. But you know what? That was so amazing. That was you a really good so, game. That was a really fun game, and you're really good at this game, Wally, so I want to give you a compliment. Thanks for being such a good sport. Oh, thanks. You know what? I really like that when I made you draw four, you you did it and you didn't you didn't pout about it. Cause sometimes that, that might give you some thumbs down feeling. So so that was cool. And I hope that I hope that some of my friends at home now can figure out how to play Uno with their friends. Right, Ooh, right, yeah. right. Yeah, that was the hope. So hey, thanks for thanks for playing with me and showing our friends at Dinosaur School. Okay, um now now Wally. We had a few people uh, uh, email their problems to dinoschool1234 at gmail.com. Yeah, I, I, I read them. Um, can I, can okay. I read one of the ones that I wanted to help solve? Yeah, please do, please do. Okay, okay. Um, dear Dinosaur School. Um, um, sorry, I'm just looking down. Dear Dinosaur School. I am having thumbs down feelings because it's my birthday next week oh happy birthday dude um but i can't have a normal party oh yeah that's a bummer what what would you do so so this is the solution or i mean this is the problem that i wanted to help solve but first we should probably go over our, our problem solving steps right Oh, good idea. Good idea, uh, Wally, because, you know, last week we did it, and it's been a, it's been a while. So let's yeah. refresh so, everybody's okay. memory. Okay, step one is, everybody can say it with me if you know it. Ready? What is it's my, my problem? problem? So he said his problem was that it's his birthday next week, and he can't have a normal party. Okay, so step two, what is the my solution? solution. So I have seen something that's really cool that I wanted to recommend, and that is a birthday parade. No so, way, Wally, what is that? Because you know my birthday's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe I can plan one of these parades. What, what, does it involve big floats or what? No, 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 not that kind of parade, and there's no marching band or anything. So, okay. so you'll have to work with your mom, because you know your mom's got to do contacting for other people, but but you can do a parade where your friends and family can drive by your house if they're close and they can drive by your house and play music and roll down their windows and wave and 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 you can take a video of the parade with your phone 
And you could even, you know what? I saw some people that were blowing bubbles at people while they passed by. Oh, we're <clears throat> Are you serious? Like I could blow bubbles at my friends as they drive by? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you can Oh, like, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I I really thought so. So so um um what, what do you think would be a good solution for, for well, that problem? Um, well, I just have an idea, Wally, because you said bubbles, and it made me think of, uh, like, different things we could do for our friends who are willing to leave their houses and go in their cars for our parade. Maybe we could uh, draw some things on the sidewalk for them to say thank you, like with chalk. Ooh, I've seen a lot of people doing chalk on, um, on, 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 the, on, um, on the Facebook Oh, cool. So, so like if I have a parade tomorrow, uh, if I, uh, if I call my friends and ask them to come by at a certain time, then I could draw some pictures for them to say, thank you. And I love you guys. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like a, like a great idea. Um, so, okay. So there was one solution. So then step two is, I mean, step three is everybody say it with me. What are, what are some, some other, other solutions? solutions? Because maybe you don't have a lot of family close by and they're not able to drive over. So, so Dinah, what, what, do you have a, a solution? I do. Um, so thanks for asking me. Um, I have a good idea. You know, have you ever heard of a half birthday? Mm -hmm. Is that like when you turn half a year old? Kind of like that. So my birthday is tomorrow. It's April 29th. And so um, if you if you come up with like six months from then, then you have, I think it's uh, October. So mm -hmm. it would be October 29th would be my half birthday. Uh -huh. And maybe by then everything's back to normal and I could have an actual birthday and everybody could pretend like it's my real birthday. You see? Oh, so, so, and you know what? Remember last week when you told my friends to, that they could plan something? Yes, yes. Very good idea, Wally. I could plan my party, and I can plan all the foods that I want there, and I could see if I want a theme like Superman or like, you know, uh, 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 mine are so old. What would be a good theme? Um, well, you could do a theme like, Avengers, or yeah. you could do a theme like Pokemon. Yes, 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 that's what I'm talking about. And then they could write down the foods they want, and they could write down who they want to be at their party, and what kind of cake they want, and a birthday wish list for gifts, and all that sort of stuff. That's really fun to plan for, and it, it makes us have thumbs up feelings to think about all those fun things that are out there in our future. Yeah, it, it sure does. Um, let me see. Um, you could also do like a Zoom meeting, just like we're doing, with all oh. of your friends and family, and they could all wear hats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. I love oh, you know what I You know what I had to do for my uncle? Tell me. It's actually my uncle's birthday in a couple days, and so my aunt asked all of the family to put together a little video saying happy birthday, but you see my uncle, he's got this really long beard, and so... Uh -huh. So what we did is my aunt told us to make our own silly beards in the video. <gasps> oh, that's so cool, Wally. What a great idea. It was so cool and so fun. So I made my beard out of pipe cleaners. And um, my sister Molly, she made one out of a couple stuffed animals. And then my mom made one out of some string. And, and then we sang happy birthday. And then my aunt's going to put the video together for him. That is so great. That that You know what? That involves creativity and uh, all that string and stuff or stuff that you have around the house and you could do that pretty easily. And that's, that's kind of a fun project. I really like that. Yeah, it was cool. Molly and I had a good time making our own beards. Oh, cool. You know what? I think another idea for a Zoom meeting would be um, people could wear all kinds of funny hats. You know, like if I don't have a birthday hat, I could just wear uh, a really silly hat that I never get to usually wear because I don't have an excuse to wear it. Right? Yeah, great idea, Dinah. I like that. I think I have a Happy New Year hat. Maybe I could wear that one. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, those are some good solutions. Um, what was one of the other problems that somebody wrote in about? Uh, uh, somebody named Julian from Mission Elementary in third grade said mm -hmm. that he gets really worried when he goes to record his answers in his classroom online he gets really worried that he's going to get the answers wrong 
Oh, okay, so um, let's let let's remember um, remember how we have to ask ourselves three questions so that we can make sure that we get a good consequence, right? Oh so yeah. The first, right, right, right. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is: Is it safe? And then the second one is: Is it fair? fair. Yeah. And then the last one is: Does it lead to good? Healing. Remember those? Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot for a minute. It walked out of my head. So, so thanks for bringing it back. So, um, um. Oh, oh. Can I can I say something about that real quick, Dinah? Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Well, I was just thinking about the parade, the birthday parade, and um, uh -huh. and uh, and the way to keep that safe is to make sure that all the friends stay in the car and that you can't get out and um, unfortunately we we can't get out and like high five or hugs um, because that wouldn't be safe. Yeah, oh, Wally, I'm so glad you said that because that's safe and that's fair and that leads to good feelings too. Yeah, you gotta stay, they gotta stay in the car. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. That, so, that's so, a really good point. So, what, 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 let's see, what was the problem? So, um, the problem is that he gets really worried that he's gonna get the answer wrong. Mm, yeah. Okay, um, right. let me think. So he gets nervous. Uh huh. Oh, I have a solution. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, well. Remember when you did that video with Miss Chris and you talked about believing in yourself? Yes, I remember that. It was so fun with Miss Chris, huh? Yeah. So sometimes you just gotta think that um, you gotta think I can do it, and you can try your best and 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 believe in yourself. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea, Wally. You know, sometimes you just gotta tell yourself really like compliments. You know. To, to help yourself believe in yourself in that moment. And, and, and you know what? The other thing I was thinking of when Julian wrote in this problem, I was thinking, you know, I am really proud of baby Dinah when she guesses at an answer. Because sometimes you don't know the answer and you oh, yeah. just got to guess. You know, you can't get all of the problems right. You're never going to get them all right. But, you know, your teachers know that you're trying really hard when you guess at answers sometimes. So your teacher's gonna be proud of you no matter what, you know. Working from home is, is sometimes really hard because you can't go ask your teacher for, for help. You know, sometimes you gotta ask your family members for help sometimes. So um, so I would say, you know, help asking for help from your mom or siblings, and then also just you know, telling yourself a compliment and knowing your, and just believing in yourself and knowing that your teacher is going to be proud of you no matter what. Oh yeah, that's good. Also, you can, you can try um, to relax when you're doing it by, by smelling the flower and blowing out the bubble. Great. Take idea. a deep breath and just take your time because because you got all the time in the world. And, um, and, and we don't need to rush through things right now. And you know what? Just know that you are not the only friend feeling like this because I feel like this too. It's kind of confusing sometimes to do things online and, and um, turning in my paper. And it's, you're right, Dinah, it is hard when I don't have my teachers to ask. And remember last week when we talked about how our parents don't do it the same way as our teachers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, it can be, it can be really hard. So Julian, like a, a lot of, a lot of people are going through the same thing. So don't feel alone. And, and Wally, I'm so glad you said that about how you feel the same way sometimes. Cause mm -hmm. you know, that'll help all my friends out there feel a little bit more normal about the, about the feelings they have when they're trying to complete their work online. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and, um, and I know that, um, I, I hope that I know my friends, um, Miss Ashley and Miss Emily and also Miss Angel and Miss Jessica, you know, I know they started Dino School, um, small groups this week. And so I hope that some of my friends were able to, to talk a little bit more about maybe some of their feelings or their problems. Mm -hmm, yeah, you know, those small groups are really fun. Thanks for bringing that up. And so um, what, before we leave, Wally, can I tell my friends what they can do um, this week for their fun work from home? Yeah. Okay. What can we you do? You can do this too, Wally. You can do this too. Okay. So, so what I thought we could all do is to, to write down three things that you're grateful for. You know, mm -hmm. right now, I'm really grateful for for some of the small things, like 
Um, I never have to put on shoes nowadays. I get to walk around barefoot, which is kind of cool, you know. Um, my grass in my front yard feels really good on my feet. And, uh, you know, it's kind of it's kind of good for my feet just to be bare feet a lot, you know. Do you, do you have the same thing going on over there? Hmm. Sometimes my mom lets me wear my jammies all day, even oh. if it's a school day. That's the best, Wally. Wow. <laughs> now, she doesn't. She doesn't do it every day, but sometimes she says, yeah, Wally, you can wear your jammies. And you know what? I'm really grateful that um, that our parents are, are a little bit flexible with us. Yeah. Oh, that's a great example, Wally. I love my pajamas more than anything. Yeah. Um, so the other thing I would say is uh, I really, really, really love spending time with my babies. Um, you know, I've got like 1,400 babies right now. So yeah, that's a lot. lot of work. And, and, and usually I have to balance all my principal tasks with uh, taking care of 1,400 babies. So I'm just really happy to cuddle them and, and spend time with them, Wally. What about you? Oh, yeah, I really like spending time with Molly. Sometimes we don't get along the best because we're around each other all the time right now, but I'm really grateful that I have her, and um, um, it's really nice to talk with her, and even though we fight a lot, um, uh, but I think that's that's normal for siblings to fight. That's sometimes. true. Not you like know. punching fight. No, 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 no. You know, I'm, well, I'm glad you said that because um, I want everybody to think of um, apologizing um, like a superpower. Right now, when you're when you're really frustrated with each other because you're around each other too much, if you can say "I'm sorry" a little bit easier, then you really are using kind of a superpower because that really helps relationships to keep keep them friendly and keep them peaceful. Is to to be able to say "I'm sorry." Oh, I like that idea. Okay, so so our fun work is we're gonna um, think of three things we're grateful for, and then also practice saying "I'm sorry." Yes, that's right, Wally. I'm so glad uh, you summarized for us. So um, I think it's time for for our radio station uh, to go back to its regular programming. So hey, uh, Wally, can I give you an air high five on the count of three? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I love air high fives. Okay, ready? One two, three. Nice, Wally. Okay. All right, friends. That was so fun with Wally and Diana today. Um, we can't wait to hear your things that you're grateful for. And um, remember to practice your superpower, which is to say, I'm sorry, a little bit more than you maybe would, because we can, we can get on each other's nerves a lot because we're around each other a lot these days. That's so, right. Um, all right. So get your fingers ready and we're going to come to three. We'll just say goodbye, friends. Okay. One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends. We're glad you came to school. Quite goodbyes, friends. We'll see you later.